Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with part two of this piece of crap that I am bringing you, the uh, top 100 greatest metal of all time, I'm sorry, top 100 greatest metal albums of all time, according to Rolling Stone. Anyway, um, apparently they weren't just looking for things that are historically important which I guess is good. Um, they're saying, lastly, because we sought out only the most consistently perfect metal albums, genre signposts like Skid Row and Testaments practice what you preach, and even the first metal album to top Billboard, Quiet Riot's Metal Health didn't make the cut because their track, list, track lists fizzle past the hits, making room for more great LPs. We learned quickly that 100 is a small number. Well, I don't know. I think they picked a lot of garbage, <laughs> at least in the bottom 20. So uh, we'll see how... Uh, they do with the next group. So now I just got to scroll through. And the only reason I did that is I just wanted to show uh, what they were thinking as far as, um, you know, their expectation was. So, again, uh, in the last one, when I said I wasn't familiar with the music uh, before, uh, the um, before, I'll mention it. And, uh, you know, but if I don't say anything, obviously I was familiar with the music. So we're going to start with number 80. Yes, I'm very familiar with Ministry. I've been a fan of theirs since the 90s. So, yes, I definitely knew this album. I think this was probably the first Ministry album I ever heard. Uh, so does this belong on the list? Um, yeah, I'd say sure it does. It's a pretty great industrial metal album. It is my personal favorite ministry album, so sure, I would say this probably actually does uh, belong on the list. So there you go, and this might be right about the right spot for it. So there you go. Moving on. Uh, At the Gates, Slaughter of the Soul, 79. Does this belong on the list? <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course this belongs on the list. This is one of the best metal, metal albums ever, and... I think it belongs a lot higher on the list than number 79. Um, I can't, when I did my top 50 metal albums, I don't remember where this one ra rated, but it should have been pretty high because this is a pretty amazingly, incredibly great album and incredibly influential. So, But th this should go much higher on this list. But yeah, definitely belongs there. Moving on. Uh, Voivod. Uh, Dimension Hatros. Um, there was, you know, uh, Voivod... Yes, I'm familiar with them. Um, you know, and they're okay. They're they're not one of my favorite bands, and I can see why they made this. Uh, we could debate all day on which one of their albums should have made it. They're 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 not really my thing, but I don't really have any objection to them being on this list. But here they are. Moving on, um, Mashuga, destroy, erase, improve. Um, again, they're not my um favorite band, but I understand why they're on here. They are incredibly important, um, especially in a modern metal, so I have no real problem with them being on this list. Just, you know, they're not totally my cup of tea, but I think they're fine, so there you go. Uh, moving on, Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry, number 76. Uh, yes, I think this would qualify. Uh, I, in fact, it made my top 50 metal albums that I own, so yeah, I definitely think this belongs on the list. And this might, in the grand scheme of metal, this might be just about right placement for this. Um, not much to say. I think this was a good choice. Um, moving on. I'm sure I'll have something to make fun of so something sooner or later. But anyway. Uh, number 75. Not yet. Morbid Angels Covenant. Um, sure. Again, I think Morbid Angel definitely belongs on this list. Uh, they're an incredibly important death metal band. One of the most important, obviously. Um, we can debate all day if it should be this one or Ultras of Madness or, you know, whatever. But, um, sure, I'd say this is probably right. And I can't really complain about it. Moving on. Um, Venom, Welcome to Hell, number 74. Um, I think this probably belongs on the list more due to its historical significance rather than, quote, its quality. Um, I think it's not really my cup of tea, but it did obviously have a gigantic impact on the genre. Um, you know, extreme music owes a huge debt of gratitude to this album. So 
I can't really say this doesn't belong on the list. So, I know this isn't as much fun when I'm not making fun of the stuff, but we'll get there sooner or later. Number 73. Again, one I can't really make fun of yet. Uh, Scorpion's Blackout. Um, is this the Scorpion's best album? I don't know. Uh, that's absolutely something debatable, but it's a pretty damn good album. Um, you know, don't know what else to say except, sure, fine. <laughs> Moving on. Um, Isis Oceanic. Uh, this was something I actually was not familiar with uh, prior to me making this video today. So I, I had to look this up and listen to it on YouTube. Um, again, it, it, it's it's fairly progressive. It's interesting. Um, I thought it was quality. So um, it's not my favorite, but I'm okay with it being on this list because I realize this list is not just what I think are the greatest metal albums of all time. Um, I guess if someone wants to, wants to make an argument for this, and like I said, as always, I will link in the video description if you want to read this thing for yourself to see if you agree with their arguments, you can do that. So moving on to number 71, Living Color Vivid. Again, another one that I can't really argue with too much. Um, this is a pretty good album. Is it their best? That's debatable, right? Of course, it does have Cult of Personality on it, which is just... A song that just gets absolutely stuck in your head like peanut butter. Um, so nothing to make fun of yet. I know this is this is starting to disappoint me too. We'll get there. Number 70, Death's Human. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> no fault there. Uh yeah. Does this belong on the list? Duh. <laughs> you know. Yeah, this is probably it might be my favorite death metal album ever. So okay. Moving on. <laughs> okay, uh, I can finally be a little bit contrarian here. Uh, Soundgarden's Louder Than Love. Um, it's, in my opinion, their first good um, album. What Soundgarden made before this, I just wasn't a fan of. So so for me, this was the first time they, they produced something that I would consider good. Um, but truthfully, if I was going to uh, put a Soundgarden album on here, I probably would have put Bad Motor Finger or um, Super Unknown, even though I would not really consider Super Unknown there a metal. So I guess if we're going with that, it'd have to be Bad Motor Finger. Just, I feel it's a somewhat better album and probably deserves to be on this list a little bit more, but whatever, that's splitting hairs. Okay, uh, number 68. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of this one too bad. Marilyn Manson's Portrait of an American Family. This, I mean, obviously I'm familiar with Marilyn Manson, but I probably didn't listen to this or anything from this for more than 20 years. I'm not a giant Marilyn Manson fan. Um, I'd say, yeah, he's important to the genre overall. He's brought a lot of attention to it. Whether that's good or bad depends on your opinion of him and what he's been doing. Uh, I think the album's okay. Um, it's, you know, there are definitely better industrial metal albums out there, like ministry one for example um if i was going to put any Marilyn manson on here it would not be this high on the list it would probably be quite a bit lower but i'm not really arguing with it being on the list so moving on um never next up we got number 67 queen's right Op operation mind crime um well you know it's a pretty fantastic album and does it belong on the list of course you know, I don't think many metal fans would say this doesn't belong on the list. It's absolutely great. So, moving on. This, I'm hoping the next 20, I have more shit to talk because it's kind of boring when I just agree. Okay, here's one that I could talk a little bit of shit on. Number 66, Deftones of White Pony. Um, I know a lot of people like the Deftones. Personally, I think they're utter crap. Um, you know, I'm just being contrarian at this point, I guess. I just, I don't like it. I think their music is just, just my opinion. It's too monotonous, too, just, just not my thing. Anyway, moving on. But it's not the most monotonous thing on this list. Absolutely not. Um, Faith No More is Angel Dust, number 65. Um, bleh. I don't know. Does this belong on this list? Um, I don't know if it's so much uh, 
it's a great album, no doubt, but uh, I don't know if it qualifies more as a rock or a metal album. So, I mean, I guess I'm generally okay with it being on the list, but, you know, I don't know uh, how much it really belongs here. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? Number 64. Okay, I can finally talk some more shit. God Flesh Street Cleaner. I didn't think this was absolute crap. I thought it was okay. Uh, this is something I wasn't familiar with uh, either, so I gave this a listen. I thought it was okay, um, but I thought it was just, again, too monotonous, kind of boring. Again, just my opinion on this. So, whatever. Um, the end. <laughs> uh, Sodom's Agent Orange, number 63. Um is this Sodom's best album? That's debatable. I would say Sodom definitely belongs on the list. I think they're absolutely great. Um, so, I'll just say it's fine for the list because who knows what else they would have picked for, you know, if they didn't put Sodom on the list. So, I'm okay with that. So, okay, what's number 62? Okay, finally, one I can rip on a little bit. Sleeps Jerusalem. I don't know what the attraction to sleep is um to me they are like black sabbath if black sabbath was boring um you know i i'm not i was i mean i knew of them before this but you know i wasn't super familiar with it so i tried to give this a listen and basically it just sounds like black sabbath with like zero creativity and they just keep repeating the same shit over and over and over again in the most boring way they can I'm sorry, but that's my opinion of sleep. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, here's another one that I absolutely hated. Um, I don't know if this is Deathcore or what the fuck this is, um, but Converge, Jane Doe. I had never heard of this before. I listened to it, and the singer sounded like Beavis. <laughs> yeah, if you like that kind of thing, more power to you. But... Um, yeah, this was absolutely god awful, uh, and just definitely not something I would want to spend any time listening to. So that's the next batch of twenty. Um, so now we know that basically this was just their opinion of what belonged on here. So since they got an just give an opinion, I'm just gonna give an opinion without actually backing any of this shit up. So. Um, and I'm trying not to jump ahead on these guys, so I don't know uh, what the next 20 are. Because I kind of want to give as real time of a reaction to this as I can. I don't know, once we get up into the upper echelons of this list, I don't know if this list is going to get better. This 20 definitely was overall a huge um, improvement over the previous 20. I don't know if the next 20 will be better. I don't know what albums they're going to leave off, but I have a feeling since we're already halfway through the list and there's a lot of albums that I haven't seen yet, um, I have a feeling that uh, they're probably going to leave off a bunch of shit that we'd like to see, but time will tell. So anyway, that is it for this wonderful thing. So as always, live long and prosper and keep on rocking.